Hello, my name is David Kelly. I'm a contractor in Oregon, uh, CCB number 164791. I'm making this video for homeowners and for uh, mothers, and I'm hoping that you all get angry because I am very angry. I spent two hours on the phone with my sister today. Now, why might you ask? Today, I did my business practices continuing education with the contractors board here in the state of Oregon. Now one of the speakers was from Oregon DEQ. So what does this matter to anybody? Okay. I, I don't want to get too in depth, but I'm going to cut to the chase for everybody quickly. Okay. They told me today and the rest of the class that uh, we have to have asbestos testing on houses that are 2004 and older. We already had to have lead-based uh, paint testing on houses that are 1977, maybe late 77 and older. So contractors are stopping doing this kind of work. Okay, I'm going to be leaving this state and I'm up for renewal. I'm taking the class anyway. Now you might say, well, that's your problem. Well, let me tell you why you're going to get angry. The reason you're going to get angry is because DEQ for the state of Oregon admitted that there may be asbestos in the products that we are buying retail today to build and install in our homes. That means mine, yours, the products that I'm buying to put in your home, the brand new house that you had built, they say that no one is testing these materials to find out whether or not there is asbestos in it. And they're saying a lot of the imported products that we are currently buying may very well contain asbestos. They specifically talked about joint compound and sheetrock. On the older stuff, they talked about roofing, siding, flooring, some kinds of installation that stuff we knew about what i really got upset about was you see the sheetrock well here let me turn it around so you can view i'm not very savvy with this stuff i guess i can't do it so i'll put it over here so there is sheetrock up against the door i've been using that for many years I've done lots of sheetrock, done lots of texture in people's homes. In my home, I've had my kids help me do it at home. And when we do that texture work, some of that stuff's going airborne. That means that my family may have been affected. Your family may have been affected. You're living with this stuff and you don't even know it. And DEQ, their response was, well, nobody's testing it. I said, well, who's responsible for this? You know, basically the onus is being put on the homeowner. So if you built a house in 2004 and earlier, now you have to go through a bunch of testing requirements that you shouldn't have to do because we all believed, I mean, I was in high school in the, you know, mid to late 80s, asbestos was a thing then. So how in the hell can it be that in 2004, we're still having asbestos in these products and they're saying they may even be sold at retail today and that the importers are not being held responsible neither are the retailers it's going to fall on the homeowners and it's going to fall on the contractors and the contractors can have tens of thousands of dollars in fines levied against them and be put out of business because no one is testing these products that we're building our houses with in 2021. This came out in a CCB business practices webinar that I just took today and it's February blah 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 2021. I don't even know what the date is. I'm just so angry. Tuesday. It's near the end of the month. Um, anyway, what can you do about it? I don't know what you can do about it or not. I know that when people got really angry, mothers especially, when their children were being run down by a bunch of alcoholics, people got mad and they did something about it. 
And that's what's going to have to happen here. Because we contractors are being picked off one at a time. Tens of thousands of dollars in fines for working on a house that we don't own. We're all buying these products and building houses and doing repair to our homes, building new homes, and we are all potentially affected by products that we do not know that today is carrying asbestos. And so if this makes you angry, you need to get a hold of your legislator, call up Oregon DEQ, call up the EPA, call up the governor's office and rain hell down on these people because we are all affected by this. And if you're wondering why it's hard to find contractors and why people are leaving this state, this is definitely part of it. Now, I'm a conservative, and you probably guessed that by now. I'm, you know, I'm a, a gun-shooting guy, but I make my living helping people. And I do it because I want to. It makes me happy to, to benefit the lives of other people. I make a decent living helping those people. And it kills me that... I could possibly have been involved in installing products ridden with asbestos in the homes of those very people that I've helped and in my home as well. And DEQ, their answer is, nobody is testing this. And I said, well, why is it that nobody is testing this? Uh, they, they told me that it's not within their jurisdiction. And that's the same thing the, C the CCB said. And that makes no sense to me because if you can, if you can regulate, you know, ammunition and you can re regulate guns and you can regulate cars and washing machines and light bulbs, you're telling me that you can't figure out how to, to test whether or not asbestos is in the, pro in, in the products that we're building our homes with? Come on. There's only one reason that this is going on, and it's pretty obvious. They're wanting to find me. They're wanting to put the onus on me and you. And they obviously don't care to do anything about it, because if they did, it would have been dealt with when I was in high school. Not in 2004 and earlier, and sure as hell not in 2021. Anyway, you folks have a... Well, get angry. I want you to get angry. Get angry, make some phone calls. Give them hell because they deserve it. We're all being damaged. That means me, you, any kind of property owners, renters, people that are having brand new homes built, we have no idea what's in these products and they don't care. Have a good day.